Hello and welcome to Arizona on this beautiful day. This beautiful Tuesday taping this. Okay, I've already finished one uh, reading which I put up as a podcast, just a tarot parlor podcast, audio only. So this is what I'm going to do on camera. Oh my god, it is so beautiful out right now. Jamie and Christopher's. Okay. Cards for today. I'm going to make several piles here and we're just going to draw from them. And this is how I'm going to do it. No right way, no wrong way. There's just your way, my way. Truck. I think they need a muffler. Okay, card number one. <laughs> King of Wands reversed. Well, someone's not as powerful or all controlling as they, they think they are. And I'm, I'm getting the feeling here that um, someone is trying really hard to uh, hang on to control of something or someone. And it's just isn't working. Mm. Okay. If you're a male and you resonate with this, did you notice the lion behind you? It's like there is some competition coming up. There's a there's another uh, another male approaching who may be vying for your spot. First card. We don't know what this is. This could be a work related uh, connection. Could be um, a couple's a relationship connection. This could be anything in your life specific to you, because this is a general reading, and you are trying to maintain control of something, but there's somebody coming up behind you that is going to um, try to take this control away from you. They're going to try to take your spot, rob you of an opportunity. Oh, this is so wicked to say. We just uh, watched a movie where it's uh, one of those best friends thing. It was a video clip actually on YouTube. Best friends, best friends. Uh, I don't know if it's that. It's like I'm... You're not going to see this coming. It's going gonna, gonna to take you totally by surprise. And the feeling that I'm getting from this card is it's someone close to you. They're going to take you by surprise trying to take over here and uh, gain this control. And out one you um it's it's not someone you ever it's not someone you would have ever suspected this could be someone close to you you didn't see this coming wow these readings honest to pete okay <gasps> queen of cups you ha uh whatever this is here there is lots of emotions evolved Lots of emotions coming through here um, as someone's making decisions with their heart rather than their head. I just keep hearing the word over and over in my mind, competition. There's competition, competition, competition. I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Be careful, beware of the con competition. Yeah, why don't we just title this, beware the competition. Let me see also, let's look at this. Um, someone has spent a lot of time and energy just on emotions, on emotions, of just wasting their energy, pining for something, mourning something, wishing for something, um, just a lot of outpouring of energy on something that's very emotional. Um, it's draining them. There's other aspects of their life that that would benefit by some of this energy, some of this attention, some of this focus. <sighs> I hate this kind of reading. I'm sorry. I'll just I'll keep going. I can only tell you what I see. Four of Wands. Well, there's there's a means for celebration. There's um, something. Ooh. <gasps> 
um, I'm not going to reveal this person's name, but the setting, the tent in the desert, the celebration, the, the party, it like connects with someone that I know. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to pull triplicates today instead of trying to link a bunch of cards together, which is what I did in the podcast that I just completed, by the way. So I'm, we're not going to do that again. Three cards. Three cards is going to be it for each scenario. So this scenario, man, there was someone coming on the horizon trying to trying to up this alpha male and uh, lots of emotions and a woman involved. And the setting for this, the setting for this, this is so unusual. It's out in the middle of the nowhere. There's tents, there's colors, there's noise, there's music. Um, it's like the stability um, was lost here. And the stability might have been regained there, refound there. It's, this is a pivotal place. This is a pivotal place to a couple. And it had a lot to do with this business and all these emotions and these issues between them. Oh, yes, I feel so much better. Just three cards for this. That's enough. Okay. Okay, that was our first set of triplicates baptism by fire here we go again let's pull one from this stick oh six of wands hooray i have arrived this card says someone's very pleased with himself they have reached a plateau or reached a goal um they're getting accolades for their endeavors and their work and their their talent they are looked up to by so many people. And it feels like someone's being put on a pedestal. And in the back of my mind, I'm going, oh, uh -oh watch out. Because when, when um, fans or when the public or group comes at you, and even an individual, and they're like over the top, um, this over and top enthusiasm, it's scary. Um, it's very scary to be put on this kind of pedestal, to have everyone looking at you and and uh, glowing over you and just um, over the top um, excited or um, enthusiastic about you. And, and because, because this is an infatuation, this doesn't last. People who come, people who come at you like this, um, their enthusiasm doesn't last because um, their fascination is is stemming from a non-reality, a fantasy. So so when they're brought back to earth and they realize, oh, this person is just like us and they have all the same problems we do and all the same issues in life and they're not perfect and um, it's just a very um, weird thing. And um, I've experienced something like this myself and the fact that people will be excited when they meet you. Well, for two main reasons for me. One, because I write books, so I don't know what they think a person who writes books is supposed to be, but we're very ordinary. We, we just write what we think. We write it down and we turn it into books. That's all that makes us different from anyone else. And the other thing is the witchcraft. I've met people who just love to introduce me to their friends as a witch. Just I think for the attention and for the reaction, and they're just all enthusiastic about all this until reality sets in and the endorphins in their brain wind down and there you go, you know. So I'm going to fill two more cards for this person. If this is you, beware, take heed of what I said. Um, that's where you are right now. Adoration, adoration, flap, flap, flap. Ooh, you're doing so good. You're so cool. Next card. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Um, yes, the Knight of Wands is generally someone who comes in with uh, trumpets blaring. They come in all enthusiastic, over the top. Um, the energy is overwhelming. It's sometimes um, disruptive. Yeah, that little horse in the background, that, that's like your knight. It's just a... They just come in and bowl things over. So that's where that energy is coming from. Let's pick one from here. I got two. I don't want to. Oh, 
judgment reversed. Yappa, yappa. Someone's bubble is gonna pop, and and it's not their fault. For for how, whoever this person is, your bubble is gonna pop, and and all this adoration and accolades and all the pats on the backs. Um, it's not going to last. It's gonna. It's like frenzied, chaotic energy, and it is a fixation, uh, a fantasy, and eventually, reality is gonna hit. Judgment. Uh, judgment is going to come down in the form of a card where reality sinks in. So you have to be prepared to buoy yourself up. But is that really? You know what? A lot of people in this position, they know what they're getting into in this position. Not everyone, but some of us do. And so so you kind of let these, these over-enthusiastic people, they come and they go and they come and they go, and you kind of get used to that flow. It's the first one might throw you because you don't realize, you don't realize what's going through their mind. You don't realize what's happening until, oh, hmm, well, I guess she's just ordinary. She's just a regular person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that there you go. That's the truth of it. So, uh, so you have to uh, be strong within yourself. Don't overjudge yourself. Don't take all of this um, too seriously. These people that come in like that, because those kinds of people will come and go and come and go. And I have a feeling I'm reading for someone with these three cards, someone that does something that's very public. So, so I don't know who this person is. It's a general reading, but whatever they do, it's very public. Um, so whether they're in entertainment or they're um, writers or whatever it is, whatever it is, it's a public person and you have to get used to, you have to get used to that ebb and flow of people and you have to get used to shielding yourself from some of that very frenetic in your face energy.